Spooks is my introduction to the character Flip the Frog. Flip the Frog is a character from Ubiworks who does some fantastic animations and this one definitely feels like it has his stamp on it. It's done for Celebrity Productions, released in 1931. Um, it's also got a story by Ubi Works and the brilliant Ben Hardaway. And Flip the Frog is a frog character, to be honest. I'm not enamoured of the design of him. I don't think he looks enough like a frog. In terms of the way he moves, I think his movements are quite fluid. He is you know, very convincing in his movement. He's not too wooden. But I just don't think he's frog-like enough to be a frog. And yeah, you can argue Mickey Mouse isn't mouse enough to be a mouse, but... I don't know, if you showed me a picture of him and said, what animal is this? I really don't think Frog would have been my first answer. But that aside, the narrative is pretty interesting. He Flip the Frog is in a haunted house and there are skeletons everywhere and there's this adorable skeleton dog who I'm particularly fond of and all of these other spooky happenings. And it works pretty well. Ubi Works has done a lot of skeleton-based things. He did Skeleton Dance, there are several other skeleton things. Um, and it always works very well, and this is no exception. The music is very good, everything is in sync, visually it's very attractive. It does go on for a bit too long with not a lot happening, I will say. And there are similar cartoons that are of a similar length with, when it comes down to it, not that much happening, but I feel can hold my attention better. And I'm not quite sure yet if that's because of how I feel about Flip the Frog. I don't think I have any strong opinions about him, but maybe I do. I'm not sure. I, I'm going to reserve that judgment until I've watched more Flip the Frog cartoons. And if you can recommend recommend any, please feel free to. But for now, it was fun, it was quirky, it was spooky. I like spooky animation. I love spooky animation. So that aspect of it did appeal to me, but I feel like it didn't quite tick all of the boxes for me. It was just lacking something. It was lacking a spark. I do recommend it, particularly if you're a fan of Ubi Works or indeed spooky animation. But I'm not going to rush to watch any more Flip the Frog. And I wouldn't say put this to the top of your to watch list.